Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. We're going to look at a local trade-in today. This is a 2002 Fleetwood Fiesta. Model number is a 32S. It's 33 feet long, total length, one slide, and get this folks, 23,000 actual original miles. Uh, first year of the 8100 Vortec V8 workhorse chassis, got 340 horsepower, um, got the Allison transmission, very heavy duty, uh, 23,000 miles, very clean. I'm going to point out one thing about it, folks, if you hadn't already noticed it. Um, this thing, and we traded for it like this, a local police officer had it, uh, came out of Lafayette, Georgia, which is, or Lafayette if you're local is what we call it here. Um, uh, about 30 minutes from us and he's a local officer here and uh, he told us about it so we knew about it but the air shocks in the front are are not functioning and we have diagnosed it as the airbags themselves and I do have them here and we are going to install them unfortunately we don't have the facility to do that so we've got an appointment after the first of the year at a local repair shop that's going to do it for us so probably this time next week those air shocks will be on and it will be sitting just like it's supposed to but we are paying for that folks so don't worry about that that will be included in the price other than that folks this thing is beautiful condition outside to be a 2002 model looks great got a 5500 onan generator marquee gold running right now powering everything inside it's got dual ducted roof airs you know fleetwood rv of course everybody's familiar with that brand i mean they pioneered the motorhome more uh fleetwoods have been built and sold than any other brand of class a motorhome and class c 5,000 pound towing capacity hitch on the back rear roof access ladder got the hydraulic leveling jacks Got the camera. I mean, to be a 17-year-old motorhome, folks, this thing is just really incredible condition. You notice there's no delamination. The striping and finish looks like one that's 10 years newer. Got the slide-out topper. Has 30-amp service, and I'll go over that here in a minute, how you can have two airs with 30-amp service. Fleetwood's got an exclusive power shed system that I'll go over once we're inside. Fleetwood RV 2002 model Vortec 8100 workhorse chassis which is kind of 2002 is kind of a weird year uh, because the early 2002s built on the older chassis had the 454 the later 2002s had the 8100. motors running right now too very quiet windshields are perfect matter of fact I believe we actually put one in it so it's got a brand new windshield and new seals on both 32s the biggest fiesta they make in 2002 we did install new carpet in here folks because obviously 17 year old carpet it needed to be changed it wasn't that bad it's just kind of trampled worn a little bit and it just makes them look so good with new carpet i know most dealers are not going to go through the time trouble and expense on a 2002 model trade-in to put new carpet in but we're not most dealers obviously and you know we put a really thick premium carpet with a pad underneath it so very very comfortable and it's brand new of course it's just a mat i'll throw it outside Alrighty, folks, inside, very clean, very open, no smoke, no pet odors. Like I said, local police officer had it. Upholstery looks great. Dash looks great. Underneath, it, it's got a carpet cover on it. Um, backup camera. No check engine light. The, the brake light's on because, obviously, it's got the auto park engaged. 23,179 original miles. 
push button, power gear, hydraulic leveling jack, CD player, original TV so everything fits just perfect. I got all the lights on, refrigerators on. You can see, uh, look at the condition of the upholstery. You can tell it's not been a live-in unit. Nothing's mashed down, nothing's worn. Wow. Almost like it's a time capsule. I mean, honestly. Beautiful RV. I got the factory brochure in here. Uh, owner's manual. There's some records in there. Allison uh, transmission book. Fiesta and the Fleetwood Terror. About the same thing, I guess. Overhead storage. Headliner. Looks great. Got the carpeted headliner. And I don't see any water stains on it. Eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer that runs off propane or electric. Three burner stove top that shows very little use. Microwave. Double uh, basin sink countertop. Nothing swollen. Uh, like it's been wet or anything like that. Everything looks great. I mean, it's everything that, that I'm saying it is, folks. A 2002, 23,000 mile motorhome. It's not like new, of course. They never are. There's no such thing as like new used RV. But to be 17 years old, very clean. Uh, refrigerator, which for some reason, there it goes was lighting up earlier and it went out, but you can see folks clean as a pin now I haven't had it on really long enough to get cold and I'm not really level so I'm not going to leave it on too long but uh, we've already checked it we know it works hallway look at this closet space right here on the left I mean I know it's just 33 foot it's a medium sized class A tons of storage in here folks tons of storage see the and I'll have all this information posted on the website as well uh, but if you want to pause the video and read it you can that's the tells you like the cargo carrying capacity and the gross vehicle weight rating and all that for those of you who like to get really technical ah state of the art TV and built in VCR hey, I'm an old school guy I'm not ashamed of it I still got VCR tapes Nothing wrong with that. Spare tire cover on the back. We'll probably replace it. It's got a few little tears in it. I see it from the back window. Uh, Queen Island bed. You can see the bed spread looks great. Got the glass, etched glass front cabinets. None of them's broken. Mirrors look great. Nothing's broken. No signs of water damage in here. You can look underneath the windows. No stains or wrinkled spots or anything like that. Fully enclosed side bathroom. Clean as a pen. Look at that. Look at that skylight. No signs of water damage around it. Tub looks great. RV toilet. All the lights work, folks. Storage overhead here. Wow. Two, um, probably 13,500 uh, BTU ducted roof air, which will run you out of here. This is the power shed system. Now Fleetwood has a patent on this. Now this is kind of obsolete now since just about all campgrounds have 50 amp service and 30 amp service. But back 2002, there were less 50 amp service sites. So instead of having to pay extra for it, Fleetwood designed this power shed system. And it allows you to run both air conditioners off 30 amp, which would normally be impossible. And technically it still is. But... What it will do is it cycles the air, both air conditioners between fan and compressor. I think like once or twice every minute. And basically it blows cold air out and then it cut, once it gets good and cold coming out the vents, it swaps, the, it swaps to the front, to the rear, and it'll run fan and it'll still blow cold air out. And, blow co and then the compressor on the other air kicks in, fan on the other, and they just swap back and forth. That way the air never gets hot. It continuously stays cold at 30 amp, and it works very, very well. Kind of like you ever notice when you're in your car and you've got the AC on and you cut the AC button off and it still blows cold air for, for about a minute or so? 
uh, even when the compressor's off and you're just on fan, it's kind of the same concept. It's just going back and forth. That way the air continuously stays cold coming out of both air conditioners. And they have a patent on that. And it works really well, folks, and you don't have to pay extra for 30 amp service. Now, when you're driving down the road, of course, you got a 5,500 watt, 50 amp generator and it will run both airs continuously. But of course, when you hooked it into shore power, it'll run both airs. But like I said, it's gonna go back and forth and you can't tell it, it's quiet. It, you know, you can't, when you're inside, it doesn't sound any different than being in one with both air conditioners running constantly. So anyway, folks, it's a great system. It's been around for a long time. This is 2002 is probably one of the last years that they actually still put it in the RVs because after that, 50 amp got to be much more common. Campground, a lot of campgrounds really don't, sometimes, lot, some do charge you extra for 50. A lot don't. A lot of just offer it on all sides. So depends on the campground you're staying at. Anyway, folks, it's a Fleetwood RV, uh, very clean, low miles, a bargain price, $24.9. For basically what you're going to spend on a late model or new travel trailer, you can buy a fully self-contained motorhome with a slide and 23,000 miles. Wow. Incredible, folks. Good deal. Not going to last long. Uh, let me tell you what all you get that of course we're going to fix the air shocks on it whether you buy option a or b so keep that in mind we've got an appointment for that monday oh by the way if you're in the chattanooga area you need a place to operate or have to work on your rv as far as chassis work like the air shocks on this one uh, good friends of ours that own north georgia tire half a block down been we've been friends with for 25 years they just opened up a um a new RV repair shop and they don't do the RV components we can handle that but they do the RV chassis work oil changes fuel filter changes shocks tires things like that brakes very reasonably priced and let me tell you something folks they they've worked on my personal vehicles for many years they're great so if you're in this area you need an RV repair shop North Georgia tire I use them so much I've memorized their number folks 706-937-5600 <laughs> that's how much I use them and we use them here quite a bit as well since they can do chassis work that we can so anyway folks uh, if you got a question about that um, if you want to use them I highly recommend them anyway they're going to put my shocks on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday when we open back up and um, it'll it'll look like it and drive like it's supposed to anyway folks this unit's 24-9. The shocks will be replaced. It'll work, it'll work flawlessly. If you got any questions, that's a haggle-free price. If you got any questions about the motor home, give us a call, 706-937. I got number, too many numbers running around in my head, folks. 706-965-7929 is our phone number. Um, you can call it 24-7. If it's after hours or we're closed for the holidays, we do have an answering service that picks it up, can try to help you. If they can't, they will get your for, uh, forward your contact info to my sales team who will call you back the next business day. And we will be closed Sunday as always. And then New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, which is Monday and Tuesday. Uh, we'll open back up 9 a.m. Eastern Time Sharp on Wednesday. Back to business as usual. So I hope everybody has a safe New Year. Uh, anyway, folks, 24-9, this is what all you get. You get this beautiful 2002 Fleetwood Fiesta 32S, 23,000 miles. Uh, complete, it will go through an extensive RV component checkout after purchase. Uh, of course, you've already seen the major stuff run, the generator, uh, the lights, this, obviously the slide outs, and we've checked the jacks, and we know they work. We're going to go through it, make sure your fridge, which I haven't had, which we've already checked it. We know it works on electric, but we haven't checked it on LP, which we're going to do that with our standard inspection. Uh, we're also going to check the awning. We're going to check propane, the water system, all your drawers, cabinets, make sure your beds fold out like they're supposed to. Uh, we're going to go through the RV, inspect it for leaks. If we find any, of course, we're going to take care of it. Um, all that's included in our standard checkout, folks. I mean, for, and so put it to you in layman's terms, for 24.9, you're going to get a fully functional 2002 Fiesta with 23,000 miles that you can load your kids up, 
load your food, your luggage, take it to the campground. It'll be ready to go at 24.9. That's a haggle-free price. That means it doesn't matter if you're paying cash, trade, or finance. Combination of the three, it's all the same to us. That's the price. We're not going to take any offers. We're not going to take any less. We don't haggle. We don't go back and forth, folks. We put our best price up there, and we sell it for that price. Trust me, folks, there is not many 23,000-mile motorhomes in this kind of condition for 24.9 out there on the market, especially in a Class A. Those of you who've been watching my videos for a while, you know, you've know you seen how very few Class A's I've shot videos on the last couple of months because they are very scarce. I just did one earlier and this one right here, and that'll be my last two until we hopefully can find some more. Um, these things just are not out there. Um, the ones that are out there are extremely expensive or worn out, and we won't have either one of them. Anyway, folks, 24-9, this unit will go through our service department after purchase. If you want to know how long it'll take to uh, get your RV after you purchase it, contact my sales department. Ask them for the current lead time, which right now we ought to be able to knock out in less than a week. Um, now, that's barring any parts that we have to order that are not readily available, and that does happen sometime with older RVs. So if that's the case, uh, you know, we're at, the, we're at the mercy of the parts companies just like you are. Anyway, 24-9, this unit will go through the inspection process. Anything we find wrong on the list, we're going to repair or replace at no additional cost to you. You're guaranteed that 24-9 price plus applicable sales tax uh, and everybody has to pay it folks unfortunately it doesn't matter where you live in the u.s you're going to pay sales tax in some shape form or fashion the amount you pay and when and where you pay it does vary so please call tell us where you live how you're paying for it and we will give you a sales tax estimate as well as tell you when and where you have to pay it that way there's no surprises for anyone and um 24.9 plus applicable sales tax. You get this RV checked out, ready to go. After it's been through service, my cleaning crew cleans it inside and out. After we're done that, uh, service manager Gordy does his final walkthrough. If he's satisfied with the condition of everything, he will call you, set up an appointment for, to pick up your new to you Fiesta. Once you arrive here at the appointed time, the RV tech that checked it out going to give you a personal one-on-one -on -one RV orientation walkthrough. He's going to show you everything on his list works and how to operate everything on that list, answer any questions you have, and you're more than welcome to record them with your phone or camera. And he'll show you any repairs you had to make, if you're going to tow a runabout behind you, or uh, he'll help you hook that up as well. We do have tow dollies in stock, folks. If you want a price on that, contact my sales department. Um, or, you know, I know a lot of people with motor homes, they'll fly in here because we sell out of state all the time. You know, if you want to fly in to look at this RV or pick it up, we'll pick you up for free at the Chattanooga, Tennessee airport during business hours. If you want to rent a car to get here, we'll help you drop it off at the local rental car terminal. Or, if, <laughs> I know it's old-fashioned, but you'd be surprised how many customers take the old Greyhound bus. And there is a terminal in Chattanooga, and we'll be more than happy to pick you up there as well during business hours. So, in other words, folks, we're going to work with you any way we can. If you want to fly into Atlanta, Georgia, there's a shuttle bus that runs every couple hours between Atlanta and Chattanooga. We'll pick you up at the, at the shuttle bus terminal in Chattanooga again during business hours uh, for free. And uh, we'll help you out any way we can, folks. I do highly, 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 highly recommend... Even if it costs you a couple of hundred dollars extra, fly into Chattanooga, Tennessee Airport instead of Atlanta. You'll thank me for it, trust me. And not have to ride that shuttle bus for two hours either after you fly into Atlanta. I mean, um, wow, night and day difference. Anyway, folks, if you got any questions about this motor home, give us a call. Our phone number is 706-965-7929. Not going to last long, folks, at 249 um, incredibly low miles, incredibly clean condition. I'm not going to say it's like new. It's still a 17-year-old used vehicle. Please have an open mind and treat it as such. It's 17 years old, but I can promise you this. If you can find 100 2002 Fleetwood Fiestas, line them up in a row and look at every single one of them, this one will probably be in your top three, if not the top one, as far as condition and mileage for the price.
Folks, this is a haggle-free price, but we do offer a option B, and option B is, of course, option A. You get the you get the uh, walkthrough, you get the inspection, you get 21 nights of free camping. Forgot to mention that, up to seven nights at a time at select RV resorts nationwide in a 12-month period. Thousand dollars worth of free camping. Uh, plus, you also get the starter kit, five-gallon bucket with all your camping essentials, new sewer hose, new water hose. Uh, pressure reducer, chemicals, adapters, and much more. You go anywhere else and buy, folks, you got to go to Walmart or hit the dealer's parts store if they have one. Spend 100 bucks, get all that or more. We give you all that included, plus we give you a drive-out tag and instructional DVDs that you can watch as well. Kind of a, uh, uh, kind of a generic RV 101 that answers a lot of questions, got some really good information, especially for those of you who are first-time buyers. All that's included at option A. Option B is the only way we discount our incredibly low asking price. And option B is you buy the unit as is. No inspection, no orientation. Of course, we know the major stuff already works. You don't have to worry about that. Um, but you're responsible for any current or future repairs this RV needs or may need. It may not need a thing. You don't know. We don't know. Um, besides the major stuff. So... As long as you're willing to buy one under those conditions, and keep in mind, folks, and let me clarify what as is means. That means you, the buyer, if you take option B and buy it as is, you will be 100% responsible for any current repairs on this RV. It's your RV. It's your choice whether to repair it or use it just like it is. Um, and there's no exclusions to that. It doesn't matter if it's an RV component. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a engine or drivetrain component. It's your responsibility to fix it, whether it works now or it breaks down whenever. I mean, it's yours. Don't call us. That's an as-is. Uh, no exclusions to that rule. And I just want to clarify that because I actually get people that think, hey, this is as-is unless something major like a refrigerator or generator or motor transmission goes. No, as-is is as-is, folks. No exclusion. Not trying to be hard. Just trying to be real. Um, but 24 9 or we'll, if you want an option B price, as long as you understand option B is and what it entitles you, you get the motor home as is, no inspection, no orientation. Uh, you get a start. We'll go ahead and throw in a starter kit, a DVD, and a drive out tag, and that's it. If you can buy it under those conditions, it saves us time and money. We don't have to pay to inspect it. We don't have to pay to clean it up. We don't have to pay to give an orientation. We'll give you a discounted price, and you can pick it up the same day you pay for it uh, versus option A where you pay for it and leave it here for a week or so. Folks, this is what I recommend doing. Call first. Make sure it's available. Uh, I never delete my YouTube videos. Please don't travel down here without calling to make sure it's 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 not doesn't have a deposit on it. Uh, one thing, folks, our, all it takes, thanks to our online advertising, is we advertise we advertise all over the country and on a lot of the major websites all it takes is a credit card and a five minute phone call it's off the market so keep that in mind um call ahead make sure it's available first i never delete my youtube videos um if it's available ask the salesperson what the current lead time is ask your salesperson or to check it out make sure everything's good after you buy it ask your salesperson to give you a sales tax estimate and ask the salesperson to send you over a list of everything that we inspect and guarantee for the price you pay. And he'll go over that list once you receive it, show you the do's and don'ts. And, uh, and then, of course, ask him any technical questions you have. I'll have a factory brochure on the website. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you need to click over to my website. I've made it very easy for you. Go to the video description below. In the first paragraph, there will be a link to our uh, used Class A page, and you can look at this one, as well as every other used Class A we got in stock. Uh, keep in mind, we don't always have everything listed, so if you don't see what you're looking for, call or email us, tell us what you're looking for. We may have it, just not posted online. But, once you get on there, you're going to see a ton of information, probably more than you're ever going to find on any other dealer's website. I'll have detailed pictures, specs, weights, I'll have um, uh, any and all information I can find online about this RV listed on there. I'll have finance applications, financings available with approved credit, minimum 10% down payment only. RV is mandatory, but approved credit only. I have nationwide delivery. 
I'll have uh, I'll have a uh, uh, trade-in appraisal forms to get the trade-in process started. I'll trade for other RVs. I'll trade for pretty much anything of value that I can legally resell and not have to feed every day. Um, so if you've got something different, car, truck, boat, motorcycle, gold, silver, guns, tools, pretty much anything that I can legally resell, I will be happy to make you. If I can find a value for it, I'll be happy to make you a trade-in offer for it. Uh, again, phone number, Best way to reach us, 706-965-7929. Uh, email sales, S-A-L-E-S, at parkwayrvcenter.com. Again, folks, I remind you, I'm not in sales. I do the advertising. I'll be happy to talk to you if you come here in person. I don't uh, I don't take phone calls. Uh, you can email me. As long, you know, I can't sell it to you, but I can answer questions if you or give you advice about this or pretty much anything in the RV lifestyle. I, I'm 22 plus years in this industry. I've owned RVs. I've delivered them. I worked on them. I, I know this every aspect from the seller to the buyer. Uh, and I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, you can email me direct at bo, B -O at parkwayrvcenter.com uh, with any questions you have. And like I said, I can't sell it to you. If you want to buy it, you'll have to call one of my salespeople. But if you just want to say hi or ask a question, I'll be happy to be happy to help you out. Thank you for watching, folks. Uh, Nationwide Delivery, again, is available. Contact us for a quote. Um, thank you for watching. and look forward to seeing everybody here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.